The next two images are these two images of the rabbit on the merry-go-round, but I'm not going to select them from Bridge. Instead, I'm going to use a script from Photoshop. So I'll choose File, Scripts, and then Load Files into Stack. Click the Browse button in order to browse to your images, and select the two images here of the rabbits. I'll click Open, and at the bottom of the Load Layers dialog box, there's an option to attempt to automatically align source images. Perfect! That means that Photoshop is going to run a script, it's going to go get these two files, put them into a single document, that's what the loading the layers into a stack is, and then it's going to automatically attempt to align those source images. Let's click OK and see what it does. You can watch it open both of those images, and then it has automatically aligned them for me. So that's a really nice way to combine images as well as auto-align them. So in this case, what we're looking at is two different images. Let me hide the top image for a minute. You can see that this bottom image is blurred. I actually zoomed the lens as I was taking the photograph, and then the next time I did not, and that's the layer that's on top, the one that's nice and sharp. What I would like to do is just use the sharp image here in the rabbit's face and let the rest be blurred. So I'll select that layer in the Layers palette, click on the mask icon at the bottom of the Layers palette, and then choose my gradient by tapping the G key. And I want the default gradient from white to black, but I want to choose the second gradient option here, the one for the radial gradient. My mode is normal, opacity 100, since white reveals and black hides, I'm going to click right in the eye and drag out just a little ways, and then release the cursor. And you can see over here in my mask, what I've got is a little mask. In fact, if I hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, that is the small gradient that I just drew, and anything that's in that white area will be revealed on this layer. So sure enough, I'm getting a nice sharp eye, and then it's slowly hiding the contents of that layer and showing me the blurry layer underneath. If we hide and show this, you can see how I just have that nice sharp area. And of course, I can always go in and touch this up by making sure that my mask is targeted, grabbing my paintbrush, I'll tap the B key to get my paintbrush, a little bit bigger brush using the right bracket, and maybe setting this to 20% by tapping the 2 key. Again, I want to make sure that I'm painting with white to reveal some more of this sharp layer. And I'll just start painting here. You can see that more and more of the rabbit's head comes into focus. So we have a little without it and with. Okay, so for a quick review, we we started off with a single document that had multiple layers and then used the edit and then auto align layers. Now it's grayed out here because I only have one layer selected, but if you have more than one layer selected, you can auto align layers. Then we went to the file menu and we actually ran a script to load files into a stack, which would open the files, each one individually, and put it into a single document. And it also had that option to automatically align layers.